non-VVTI on the ground and I'll just show you a couple of things that you need. Um, first of all, uh, you need to have a 1JZ engine um, which will probably cost you about five grand. Uh, you need to have two batteries, so that one there, that one there. One battery will be for the fuel system or fuel pump which you can use a 044 or something like that um, and the other battery will be for all the power that you will need for the ECU, for the igniter, for the coils and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, you'll need to, if you want to run the engine for more than you know half a minute, you'll need to run some water through the through the uh, water jacket. Um, but you can do that after it sort of runs for a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? Uh, your turn line, your fuel pump, jerry can. I don't have a fuel rig at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these hose clamps here as a fuel rig. It works very well. And just to give you a little bit of an idea on wiring, um, here we have these are Toyota Sora body loom plugs, but just to give you a rough idea, um, we'll go. You can set your multimeter to continuation um, and then just find your, find your terminal on your injector. That tells you your injector's got power pretty much. And then coil, pretty much the same thing. Mm. No, we're going to the work, work terminal. No. These things are a little bit fiddly. Okay, that's your coil. So I've got the um, igniter plugged in already, but it's the same thing with the igniter. It's that little plug on the end there. That is your positive wire, which controls all the power to those things that I just spoke about and then obviously your battery clamp which controls power into the ECU then we go to the starter side of it so obviously this wire here it's not going to start now because I don't have anything plugged in but you you run a wire from a terminal there onto this terminal here and that starts the engine you listen to it and then let it go once it runs first clamp has to be on the block positive wire or positive terminal on here and you just have to make sure that you've got everything set up so that you're not going to have any fires or fuel leaks or anything like that this is your fuel pump which is just an alligator clip and that's your fuel system running so that's pretty much it, eh? Yep. Alright. Sweet. Um, I'll, uh, I'll plug it in and then you kick it over. That's it for another day of adventures on the old 1J. 
I've packed it up. Um, it took a little bit of effort to get it running because we're using the hose clamp on the, um, I believe I showed you before how we're using the hose clamp as a fuel rig. That doesn't work out too well if you don't get it correct. So the plugs were fouled. We ended up pulling the plugs out. Long story, a five minute job of starting the engine took like an hour and a half. By the time we sorted this and sorted that, mucking around with start your bastard and all that, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, it's all done. So just to sum it all up, just a, another bit of a um, guide or whatever you want to call it. If you're ever doing something like this, if you want to start it up on the ground, what you need is you need your coil power, you need your injector power, and you need your igniter power, and also a fuel pump, a couple other little things as well as I've shown you. But it's pretty simple really. Um, I've been shown by someone else how to do this. Uh, I intend on doing it on some other motors, engines or whatever you want to call them that I'm going to um, take possession of in the, in the near future. So yeah, um, it's good fun. It sounds like a freaking motorbike engine. The, the, old, the old 1J sounds like a motorbike engine when you rev it. I mean I only revved it to probably four and a half today because it's not bolted down and I didn't want to like put it on its side, you know what I mean? Because like it needs to go into a car, it doesn't it doesn't need to go on the concrete floor. Um, yeah, so this thing here is where it's going. And yes, that's the Q45. I'm going to order some stuff as soon as I get on eBay, which will probably be tonight or tomorrow night and make a bit of progress with that thing. Uh, so just in between, while I've been waiting on funds for that, I've been mucking around with this 1J and obviously my, um, my other car. So, but anyway, next episode, we should be back to the Q45. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope you're looking forward to it. If you're not, well, you're not, I guess. Whatever tickles your fancy. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thanks for joining in to Lockdown Performance. And I shall see you in the next episode. What's it for?